everyone welcome to sweetie speaks official youtube channel today we are at day 68 of 111 days verification challenge skill set which we are focusing on right now is system verilog today's topic will be based on oops concepts in system verilog let's get started in day 67 also we saw some questions on system verilog oops this is a continuation and as I already told you, there is a system very lock up series going on in Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. If you have not already gone through, please go through. That will help you solve these questions. Let's see today's question. The first question is what is a virtual function? We have a scope resolution operator. What is the use of that? A function can be virtual and pure virtual. What is the difference between virtual and pure virtual function? What is a virtual class? What are parameterized classes? You can have some classes which are parameterized. What do you mean by that? And what I will recommend you first explain what are parameterized classes then write a code of parameterized class you can use free practice platforms like eda playground try to create a parameterized class and run that code execute it and see the output that's how we learn any concept without practical knowledge just theory won't help that's why i stress on writing the code and executing the output what is the difference between static and dynamic casting? Again, I would urge you to create a code, run and see the output of this. This is a little bit a trick question. You don't want to see class properties of a base class in child. You have inherited a class from your base class. But you don't want to see the properties of base class in your child class. How can you do this? What are the default values of variables in system Verilog constructor? What are local and protected access qualifiers? Explain how you will create arrays of class handles you want to create arrays of class handles explain this with the help of coding example here i have a code you need to tell me what is the output you can try to run this code and see what is the output i have a class sample class in which i have a class variable which is id which is of type int you can see int id is a class variable and you have a function display please note this function is extern it is declared as extern function and outside the class you are having the declaration of this function if you see you are defining this function outside the class here you are just saying that there is going to be a function display which is of extern. Extern means it will be defined outside the class. And here you are actually defining the function. What this function is doing? It is displaying the value of id. Solve these questions today and tomorrow I will see you for day 69 challenge. Best luck. 